So I, I found this、um, one tweet that you retweeted,、uh, Rich. He said、uh, that your point was when LLMs imitate, they imitate the action. When humans imitate, they imitate the output, but must discover the action. I don't want to say bad things about people online, but I just felt like a lot of people didn't understand that distinction. And I get why. It's very subtle. And I think the key here is the word discover the action. Most of life, even very high level cognition, even when someone is explaining something to us, that's just a surface level. There is always a more foundational level at which we must use our own cognitive apparatus to say, how did that get generated? To me, that was the most clarifying moment of the distinction, which is if a model is forced to understand which actions. Will produce which outputs, it then must create its own representation of how actions relate to outputs. That to me is at the heart of, at least, and tell me if I got this right, Rich, but that to me is at the heart of one reason we might imagine these things don't have good world models because they are not forced to ask which actions in some space will create the kind of outputs we see, whether they are. Language or proofs, but you can also see domains in which they've surely developed good world models like chess or Go, domains where actually the algorithms have in fact had to create go from action space to outputs, go from things to outputs. And that space is a big and growing space. It's just not the same space as language models trained on corpuses of text.